Hello everyone. Previously we had covered the unboxing, preview, setup and installation of a couple of ASUS routers and an adapter. So today we will be looking at the various features provided by the ASUS RT AC66U, the RT N66U and the ASUS adapter that is the EA N66U. N66. So uh, let's start with the RT AC66U. This router is one of the first few routers which support the new 802.11 AC wireless specification. Last time we saw how to set, th set this router up and its administrative panel features. So now we will see its features step by step. The main index page has a network map which displays the current network details along with a flow chart of connected devices. Basically whenever you connect a particular USB based device to your router as it has two USB ports. So they get detected and shown in this flow chart. So currently I have connected a USB 3G dongle so it's showing me in this chart and it also has a client option so when I click this it will show me the client status which is the current PC from which we are operating it on. Uh, it also has a security level based feature which provides us with the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz system status along with the various uh, credentials about them so we can change the settings from these pages and access them so the settings are same for 2.4 gigahertz and as well as 5 gigahertz let's move on to the guest network the guest network is an added functionality of this uh, router so the, it provides you an option to provide uh, internet connection for your guests but restricts access to your intranet so you can enable or disable this feature and add a particular guest and provide it, uh, them privileges from this page there is a traffic manager feature which has quality of service uh, uh, option which can be enabled or disabled from this page and you can set specify or me change rule list for uh, different service names that is file transfer https web surf etc these are file tra traffic tra traffic monitor page which shows you the log or the graph format of the current bytes of uh, packages sent which is for the wired wireless and the internet so it shows you the inco incoming internet package packets and outgoing internet packets on this page too it can be uh, changed into real time or for last 24 hours and a daily based thing too so another neat feature of this router is the parental control so you can enable this parental control feature and uh, uh, allow you allow to set the time for a, a client's network usage so you can set whose network usage you want to control or add or, de add or delete a column for uh, editing it or set up allowed time limits in the time management type app option and drag and drop desired day or time settings any, any time and click ok to save the settings and you can also view the e uh, tutorial video which is linked on this page so this takes you to a youtube page and lets you view the uh, parental control features see, see the other, other application which we have is here is the USB application this provides a in-depth view of the entire uh, USB page so you can share files in the USB disk to the internet using this AI disk feature and server center feature the network printer server 3G and 4G dongle settings and there is also an option to download the download master which you can install on this router and change settings for that the AI cloud feature will be discussed in our next video with in depth so let's move on to other features the ad other features are all advanced wireless settings or LAN, WAN and IPv6 based settings along with VPN server settings, firewall, administration based settings and system lock settings we won't cover, cover the administration settings as we covered this in the, our previous video so let's move on to the wireless settings the wireless settings page provides us the general WPS bridge wireless MAC filter and radius setting along with the professional settings page too. So you can change all of the wireless settings on this page along with the frequency, uh, the authentication methods, the encryption types and channel bandwidth types and uh, the network keys. And there is a WPS or Wi-Fi protected setup based functionality the option provided on this page too. So you can enable or disable WPS from this page bridge so you can use this router as an access point or uh, use it as a bridge for connecting to an access point wirelessly or in a repeater mode 
it also has a basic for config base page which you can change uh, settings on then there is a wireless mac filter page and a radius setting page with a professional page this is a in depth uh, entire professional page which you can uh, use to change settings and add parameters for wireless settings or disable uh, different values so it also allows you to time of day uh, allows you to enable the time of day to enable radio or uh, at a particular date or set up the access point as an isolated uh, thing and multicast rate and other such interesting features the other features we have in are the lan in the lan option you can have the uh, normal lan ip features the dhcp server based features the root features along with the iptv feature and also the switch control feature then we have the wan features which provide us the wan internet connection based features the port trigger features the virtual server uh, extending features along with the demilitarized zone features the double dns features and the nat pass through features then we have the ipv6 features uh, so the ipv6 features are basic modes and the auto configuration settings currently the connection type for ipv6 is disabled we can use the static ip or tunnel based ipv6 or native ipv6 with dhcp pd options too then we have a vpn server based feature which shows us the vpn basic config and the vpn ba uh, basic config details along with that we also have a decent firewall based uh, sub menu in this menu we have different other sub menus which have in depth features and provide us with n number of functionality for the firewall setup you can use filters or for your urls or keyword filters then we have the system log this keeps a log of the uh, activity on your router and the connection so it also provides us with the dhcp table and routing table so this was all which was under the uh, asus rt ac66u uh, features list so basically the asus rt n66u also has most of the features except that it uh, except the 802.11 ac standard so uh, the in, uh, interface which is it uses for accessing the settings page is exactly the same as what the rt ac66u uses